Hey guys, today we're replacing the rear pads on this RS5 VA petrol. Let's just see what the up on jack stands. Make sure you use your jack stands. Wheel is off. I'm wearing the cover because it's a nice glorious Welsh summer day. And here are our brake pads in here. As you can see they are in need of a change. So let's crack on. Okay, I forgot to record it, but at this point, you want to go to your diagnostic scanner or whatever tool that you're going to use to wind back the brake pistons. Um, make sure you do it properly because you can damage them. I'm probably going to get a comment in the comment section saying, can you do it without a scan tool? Yes, you can. I'm not going to show you how because I don't think it's safe and I think it's, it can damage the caliper and I don't want to be responsible for that. Okay, so if you open the inspection hole here, you'll we'll see that the piston's still out because what we've actually done is wind the motor back in um, and the piston stays out. So what we have to do now is compress that piston um, just like you would in the wall the front brakes. Now we're going to do is remove the two 13mm bolts that hold the caliper to the carrier. So there's a 15mm bolt routine on the back there. Which will screw away. With that caliper off, the pads out, just gonna sweep up the wire brush. Then you want to apply some red rubber grease to the slide pins, just to make sure they lubricate them moving as well as they should. Then we put a little bit of um, grease on the contact points of these pads and we literally just slide them in. Make sure they're moving freely, which you can see they are. And we're going to put the inner pad in now and we'll come back to it when the pad is ready to go back on. So as you can see now that inner pad is in, and that there too is moving freely. Oop, too freely. And then what we're going to do, because we can press the piston to start off with, this should now just slide on nicely. One's got a counterweight, so you need to make sure you refit that there. And these pads come with a new bolt for the bottom. Make sure you use that and screw it in. Just get it hand tight for now. In case we've been on E3 technical, we've got the torque specs up for these bolts. I'm going to talk him down the spec. Let's clean this caliper up before we put everything back up here. We'll spray it down with some Torx cleaning products. We'll very good clean. Then we just spray Torx cleanings. Ceramic coating on here just to make it pop it quite nicely under the alloy. She has a custody of care as well, do you mean? Okay, we're back in the car now. We've done the other side. Um, the ignition is turned on, and now I remembered to show you. <laughs> I didn't really remember to record it in the first place. So you can hear those, those calipers going in and out. I'll wait 30 seconds for the process to finish. Now that's all done. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you shortly with more how-to videos. Cheers, guys. Bye.